everybody asking me like, man, is there is there an end credit at the L and the X Men? What, what what's the credits at the end? Is there gonna be one? I'm like, how many times have you seen these movies from Marvel? Don't you realize they put at the end of the movie they put an end credit scene? Yeah, Marvel always does that. Exactly. So why would you sit there and ask a question you already know the answer to? <laughs> uh, that's not, the real question is what they really wanted to say was first, you know, what happened in the end credit. They know that there's going to be one, but they, they were hoping by saying that you tell them what it is. Oh, for this one? All it is is Wolverine 3? No, they want you to they want you to tell them about it. I, well, I wasn't going to put it in the video yet because the movie went out, but once they show the vows and they, it says Excess Corp, they already know they setting up, you finna see X-23. You going to see what X-23? What is X-23? That's the female Wolverine. She gonna be in the, she's going to be in Wolverine 3. And if it's Excess Corp, you know that's sinister. So that's the villain, sinister. He gon' he the one start cloning everybody. So he got he got Wolverine blood. At the end of the clip, you'll see he got Wolverine blood. He got Jean's gray blood. He got samples of everybody's blood in these valves. And this uh, and this little can. Taint the thing, he's gonna put them in and close it up. And it says on the thing, it said XX Corp. And, you know, that's sinister. Which is one of them. He was the most, he changed Marvel forever. Because that's when it was just all these clones popping up. Because that's how they had the female Wolverine. you seen her in X2. When when they had it, like, Stryker made it. And he had, like, a right. female version of Wolverine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that her? Well, that's, that's the way it was designed to be. It would tie into X2. It depends on if they do it, like, Wolverine 3. <laughs> so... You got to remember that Dr. Whatever, Mr. Sinister, the villain, he he also made a fake Jean Grey. And he convinced, uh, uh, what's his name, Cyclops, to have a baby with her. He tricked her, tricked him into having a baby with her. And that, and that baby ended up crazy and became the, the super psychotic Cable. That everybody loves. Who ends up fighting with Deadpool all the time. Nah, jeez. So, this, this thing could actually tie into Wolverine 3 and Deadpool 2. Because we know Cable's going to be in Deadpool 2. I don't think they need to go into an origin story with Cable. They could just go right to just throwing Cable on the screen. Deadpool made the most money out of any superhero movie this year. <laughs> Definitely. Deadpool has grossed the most revenue. Oh, wow. They spent about $70 million making the movie. Yeah. About $10 million in, like, advertisement. Because most of it, they went heavy on internet and billboard. Not a lot with television. Just a little couple of scenes they did on TV. But they spent about $10 million in advertisement. That's where the majority of their budget went. There's heavy advertisement. All these little spots that Ryan Reynolds would do. And he was everywhere. It was Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. So you saw it. And a lot of people was like, man, I want to see what this is about. When Deadpool came out. It's, it's total is almost at Batman Superman total. 
It says 700 million, almost 800 million, Sean. That's, oh, wow. that's not even counting the DVD and all that stuff. This is, <laughs> this is just pure box office. Yeah. They talking about Captain Marvel. Do you think there's too many uh, superhero movies? Um, I don't really think so. They make a lot of money. Wait a minute, who asked the question? Do you think it's too many superhero movies? Too many? No. Absolutely not. Well, I know you, John. You would want them out every week. Both by the same company. Okay, I think Memorial Day weekend is next Monday, not this Monday, but the following Monday. I think I'll go ahead and watch. Guess what? Go ahead and watch uh, Captain America. Oh yeah, I'm like y'all forget. I'm like watch it like for the fifth time. What you mean? <laughs> I keep yeah. I keep forgetting you. You know. This is how normal people go to the movies, you know. They they don't go right away. They gotta they gotta make time. Yep. <laughs> man, but it's funny, man, because we was I think we were talking about it with my buddy, like all the all the movies they have stolen. Like Marvel has stole everything from DC. Like the characters, they would just mimic and just steal it. I I I never thought that people would like flock to that. Flock to what? To the fact that they were all stolen. Like they all, people don't care about that. huh? But people don't care about that. Yeah, I mean that's obviously it's like, it's true. Like, it's, it's like saying, "Yo, man, I got these new Jordans out. Yo, we get them from off the train." Nah, dude, I can't do that. I can only buy them in the store. No, 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 no. You missing what? You misunderstanding what I'm saying? I mean that they took the characters and just renamed them. Like the X Men, uh -huh. they had the Doom Patrol. The Doom Patrol was DC. They had that first. They had a guy in a the wheelchair. They had a, another. They were mutants. Basically, they had the same power. They came out. The Doom Patrol came out in June, and then I think by like November, December, the X Men came out. Complete ripoff. They had a brainiac leader in the wheelchair with all these superhumans. And this always happens. Always happened in the comic book world. Wolverine, everybody know that was Lobo. DC had Lobo. The guy that like regenerated and all this stuff and had all these powers. And then Marvel made Wolverine and then he ended up being like the the most popular one but the biggest one was Deadpool that a lot of people know because you know Deathstroke was the first that this is the most blatant ripoff of all times Deathstroke who you who you gonna see probably in the uh, in the Suicide Squad that was the biggest one Slade Wilson Slade Wilson was he can't die. He can keep re -com coming back and everything else. And he's a mercenary. Dead. I mean, what, happens if he, what happens if he chop off his head completely and separate his body? He can still come back. He'll put his head right back on. Now, death, death. That's death stroke. And he's in a mercenary. He got a sword and he got a gun. And he's accurate. Mercenary. 
Now comes Deadpool. He has two swords. <laughs> and he has a gun. And his name is Wade Wilson. <laughs> Slade Wilson versus Wade Wilson. How much of a ripoff could you get? And yes, guess, can and, and guess what? Deadpool, he can regenerate. He can't die. So they didn't try to push a lawsuit with that at all? Not that I know of. I think it's just it's just code of ethics. They always seem to come up with a way to try to steal from the other one and make the other one more popular. Marvel was good at making it more popular. But the original one, like Catwoman, we all know Catwoman. So she couldn't... All the big ones that DC got, they, they became... Un, you couldn't change it. They tried to come out with Black Cat. Marvel did. They wanted to make a uh, cat woman. We gotta make a cat woman. We're gonna call her Black Cat. Black oh, Cat okay. didn't work out. <laughs> Black Cat. I was like, nobody was really interested. Cat Woman made more sense. So, who stole like, these ideas, Stanley? Oh, yeah, he did. He yeah, he do. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. Man, I remember they tried to do Superman like every it just don't work. They just gotta give it up. And you remember, like, Dark Side? Yeah. The villain that's supposed to be coming in Superman? Uh huh. The one we've yet to see, and he's on his way? Well, that's where they got, th they got Thanos from him. Thanos came right after him, and it's the same character. But they tried to clone Superman a thousand times. They had. They actually had a character called Calark, which was like Cal L and Clark Kent. <laughs> Took the two names, put it together. They had another one who was born of the sun. He looked just like the villain called Sentry. I never forget him. He looked just like the villain Superman fought in, in uh, Superman 4 with the blonde hair. And he created a serum. To give him a power of a thousand suns. And oh it was so terrible. <laughs> and the other one. At least Kellar. He fought a guy that ended up being like all the villains of Superman. Like they had a Lex Luthor. They had a, It was the same story. I'm like Marvel has no shame. They would just rip off. Rip off. Rip off. And they just couldn't get it to work. They actually had, they stole Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. Marvel had a character, Marvel had a character just like him. 